You're a lifesaver, Goku! Many of the what-if story branches in Sparking Zero are fun little detours in the canonical story that show an alternate ending to a specific battle, or a tiny glimpse at what could have been if things went a little bit differently. A few, however, take you on extended trips into these hypothetical scenarios and culminate in some truly wild moments. Like, for example, Goku turning Super Saiyan on Earth instead of on Namek. If you want to see this story branch for yourself, here's how to get it. First up, right at the beginning of Goku's story, stay on the canonical path by going with Piccolo to fight Raditz. During the fight, however, you'll need to defeat Raditz quickly in order to trigger the big split that sends you down this hypothetical scenario. Here's some tips to do this. Get into sparking mode as quick as you can by charging your key past its limit when you have one stock in your skill counter, keep your combo basic and just mash square to get your 20 hits in, and when the combo drops, use a regular blast like a Kamehameha to deal some extra damage without dumping all of your key. Then when sparking mode ends, you'll be able to get right back into it quickly and repeat the process. Once you're on this track, you have one more big hurdle to overcome. A very challenging two-phase fight with Vegeta, where he transforms into his grade 8 form in the second phase. The first big tip I can offer for this fight, there's no secondary win condition. So you can turn down the difficulty by pressing L2 on the episode map without any kind of worry. If your Saiyan pride doesn't let you do that, or you're still having trouble even on the easier difficulty, here are some quick tips. First off, if normal Vegeta bangs you up before you can even reach the second phase, just save some time and restart. You'll want to make sure that you have a good amount of life going into the second phase, as sometimes it's just very difficult to avoid taking damage when he's in great ape form. Second, try to find some cover against Vegeta's regular key blasts and use it as an opportunity to charge up your key. Once you deal enough damage, he'll talk about having no choice but to become a great ape. At this point, make sure that you've got your key close to max and are ready to go into sparking mode as soon as the second phase begins. In phase two, you only want to engage while you're in sparking mode, because if you try to wail on him without sparking mode, you'll very likely get grabbed, crushed, and thrown away like trash. Your combo while in sparking mode will stun lock him, and the final hit will send him crashing down to the ground, where you can follow up with a Kamehameha. You'll also need to look out for Vegeta's blast while in this form. If he says, I'll break you, and you're at about mid-range, you can simply dodge to the side to avoid getting hit by the beam and then punish him with a charged attack. If he says, I'll vaporize you, you're better off just holding block to mitigate the damage, as it's very difficult to punish this attack. Keep it up and you should eventually take him down, leading to one of the coolest what-if moments in the game. Thank you, Chaozu! Good thing you had those sensor beans on you! But... Tien! Krillin! Uh. Oh, gonna revive your friend again? Or have you learned to let the weak stay dead? Maybe now you understand what it means to be a Saiyan, Kakarot! Damn! I'm all out of sensor beans! Well then, it's time for me to conclude this battle. And you'll be reunited with your friends in one more painful moment. What? Dead. The Dragon Balls are gone. And Krillin, 
He's already been killed once and can never be revived again! I will never, ever forgive you for this! I'll let you discover the rest of the cool moments in this story branch for yourself. It's worth seeing through to the end. And you'll get the Pushing the Limit trophy for your trouble. Thanks for watching, and for more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero guides, make sure to check out our Big Essential Combat Guide. And for everything else, keep it here on IGN.